Hi, I'm Marie. Welcome to 50 Plus Home and Gardening. Today I have a project that I have to do. I've got to remove this fig tree that's not going to give me any fruit. It died all the way to the ground. It's got some suckers, which is great. It's going to be a little nice little plant, but it's not going to deliver any fruit and any shade. So I'm going to move him up in the west area with the rose bush. And then I have a crepe myrtle that I didn't really like in the grass. Remember, I don't really like mowing with things in the grass. Trees are an exception, but this one was a really steep hill, and I just didn't really like mowing around it. So I'm going to move the crepe myrtle into the mulch bed and right where the fig tree was, and it's going to provide shade later on for the upstairs porch, which is, which is really needed. And it's what I wanted the fig tree to do, but it didn't do it. So it doesn't matter. Crepe myrtle will do just as fine. It'll get 25 feet. It'll be gorgeous. New designs in our gardens is part of gardening. And so when something doesn't work out, you get a new plan. So let's start with this new plan. All right, so we're on the west side of the house. This is the fig tree. We're gonna take that and put it all the way up there. You see that? Bing, right there. And then we're gonna take this crepe myrtle, which just didn't work out. We couldn't mow around it, and it doesn't look very good. Anyways, I'm gonna stick that over here. So let's switch it and let's get it done. First, I'm gonna cut down this, tr this, this one limb that just didn't come back. I'm gonna cut all the way down to the back and let the suckers just grow up. All right, remove the fig right next to the rose bush. Nice, nice, nice. Fig tree's looking a little sad, but I did give it some water. We'll see if it'll perk up. Um, it is May and it's hot, so we'll see. Here's where the crepe myrtle was. Here's where the crepe myrtle is. It took the place of the fig tree because I want it to grow tall, give us some shade. I'll see if it grows. It's got water to it, irrigation. I don't know, it's a little late in the year, but look at how it'll give some beautiful shade to this area. Okay, this is the west side. Juniper. And there's the fig all the way right there. Lavenders, three lavenders, and the red hot poker, and uh, juniper. And now, crepe myrtle, Tusca, Tuscarora, and some white Japanese iris. Looking good, looking good. Now, when I mow, this is not a problem anymore. It was a little bit close to this west side. It was hard to get around because we are going up a steep hill. But look, that, Jap or that maple, October glory, looking good. All right, the green giant, yeah, babe. Look how peaceful this looks. Oh, the peonies, green giants, five green giants out there. One by itself. The three sisters. One, two, three. And everything is looking good. Here's the rest of the stump in the fire pit. Oh, beautiful, wonderful. Look at this rock. I love this mossy rock. Isn't that pretty?
So keep moving, keep gardening, and stay creative. And I'll see you next time.